Time now for our ally, player of the game, Kelsey Plum, back to back. Big time games for her. Uh, she had 28 points tonight, coming off 34 against Indiana. And with the efficiency of which she's played has been impressive. She's 10 of 13 from the floor, six of nine from the three point line. She's gotten to the free throw line, but she also, but she's distributed as well. Yeah. Three assists, she got her a steal. She brought her defense in her back tonight. Yeah, she's feeling it at both ends of the floor. Ace is trying to finish this off to make it their sixth win in a row, Carolyn, after starting six and six. And all six of those wins have been by double figures. Foul call out of the timeout. It's gonna go against Gustafson. That'll be her second and the team's third. And yeah, I'm looking forward to, we get through the all-star break, to get the Olympics done and the comeback. I think it gives players time in this league to get healthy. Yeah. I think there's gonna be a shakeup at the top. Oh, it's true. And it is going to be a battle royale to see who's gonna get in that eighth spot oh. to be in the playoffs. It certainly is. It's going to be very interesting to see. And you've got that you got that break, so there's gonna be a lot of rest for some, but the ones that have to go overseas and play. Yeah, the aces have four. Yeah. They're going across the pond. A lot of the teams have several of their international players that haven't even come back yet that may come back after the break. Yeah, then Washington, yeah, they've got Aaliyah Edwards, Jade Melvin. Yep, Team Australia is gonna be pretty tough. It's gonna be tough. It will be no look, walk in the park <laughs> for Team USA. Yep. For Kimbrough, shot is short. Wow, physical inside as the Mystics can't hang on. It's out of bounds. It goes the other direction. Ninety-three seventy. Aces up. This is their eighth ninety-plus scoring game on the season. They've only scored hundred one time. It was earlier on June thirteenth at Phoenix. I like the shot selection. I like the sharing of the basketball. And a travel call on Hayes. We'll send it the other way. But the turnovers, uncharacteristically turning the ball over, the Aces did tonight. That's the seventh in this quarter alone. Two minutes, Two minutes left in the game. It's been a good team effort. Now, really back-to-back -back team effort for the Aces, the Indiana game, and maybe Becky Hammond will feel like they fired on all cylinders tonight. Hayes, the reverse, up and good. <laughs> she kept trying it and trying it and trying it. She finally found that seam. <laughs> Help D coming over, tries to draw the charge. And instead it's gonna go against Tiffany Hayes. Uh, Hayes with that strong left drive and then the reverse <laughs> layup on the finish. She just kept waiting for that opportunity to get there. And I think it's her long stride that she has as well that allows her to get in the paint. Yeah, I was just thinking she's so quick. You think of her as this little guard, but she's got length. I mean, they list her at 5'10", but she, she's got a long wingspan as well. One for two for Richards. Bell blocked by Kingsler, and it's swatted out by, I thought it was off Washington. They'll say it was off the Aces. And now the official's gonna talk about it. Well, but Becky Hammond doesn't have a challenge. Yep. Will they change their mind? Nope, they'll say it stays with or goes to Washington. Minute 12, and the Aces to finish off at what will be their sixth win in a row. Colson, hand in the passing lane. Out running, reverse up, off the mark. And KB on the trail trying to help her, but can't.
Well, the Aces have some ground to make up because right now they're sitting in that fifth position in the league. Top eight teams get in the playoffs, but the top four in that first round have home court. Yeah, I know there's so much before. We talked to Asia Wilson today. She said, I just have to keep focusing on one game at a time, but you know, home court is a big plus here at the house. <laughs> Absolutely. Man, the crowd. Oh my goodness. At T-Mobile. Yeah. 20,366. Largest crowd in the WNBA since 1999. Wow. Under a minute left. The Mystics will fall to five and 16. The Aces are gonna go to 12 and six. KB rattles in a three ball. And the teammates are loving it. Almost a steal by Hayes. Now you gotta take care of home in this league. Melbourne with the three. The Aussie gets a bucket. She has eight points. I really hope that Stephanie Dolson gets back soon because yes. the Mystics, they were, things were starting to come together yeah. for them and the way she's shooting the basketball, she had to do some damage. Out with illness in this one. But hopefully they can get her back sooner than later. She had 10 points and eight boards, four assists in Los Angeles. But she had 23 against the Aces. She's a big factor to what they do with 3.8 remaining. It'll be an inbound for the Mystics. And that'll do it. Another win for the Las Vegas Aces here at home. A lot of good things to take from this one for Becky Hammond and the Aces. Well, you had three players had 18 plus points with Wilson Plum and Young. You got contributions from the reserves. Being able to defend, holding yet another team under 80 points. Things are moving in the right direction for Las Vegas. Yeah, they certainly are, and a lot of good things on the defensive end. That's where so much of the focus has been when things haven't gone quite the way Becky Hammonds wanted them to. As you take a look at the numbers, solid shooting all night long. Behind the arc, from the line, they were able to get there. Perfect from the free throw line. That's something that's been an area that has had a little bit of a hiccup to it, but also dominating on the glass, out rebounding Washington 36 to 28. You gotta love that. The high turns, some of those coming up in the fourth quarter, but nonetheless, the sixth straight game for the Aces holding their opponents to 83 points or fewer. So the defense has definitely been a big area of focus and Becky Hammond talked with us about the defensive effort, especially 